Alrighty guys, so I will be having a giveaway on my channel for this month. If you guys are interested in winning a Xbox gift card, a PlayStation gift card, or a Steam gift card, all you have to do to enter is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. I will be picking a winner through the comment section, so make sure to stay active. Good luck guys, and enjoy the video. How's it going YouTube? What is going on? How are you guys doing today? My name is Richard Radaway, of course, as you know, and uh, today what I'm going to be talking about is pretty much the problems with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, what it's lacking, how I feel about the whole entire game, because to be honest with you guys, and I'm not even joking here, I feel like I'm still playing the freaking beta of the game guys i'm not even joking so today it's not going to be more of like a rant but i'm just going to be stating the problems with infinite warfare i'm not complaining at all i know a bunch of people are gonna be like right away you're just complaining man shut your ass up and i'm gonna be like well, well shit man all right fine no but for real though i'm going to be saying like what the game is lacking right now you guys can probably agree with me on that because i know a bunch of people are playing modern warfare mastered over infinite warfare and i'm saying like infinite warfare they gotta fix these things they have to fix these key points i'm going to be stating in this video you guys are probably can, can agree with me on this like the game is lacking a lot of content and it's absolutely crazy because we're like what two weeks in i think and like they're they're still adding stuff that should be day one stuff guys so i wanted to make this video to kind of like just state the problems with infinite warfare so if you guys enjoy a like rating would be very very much appreciated um if you guys are new if you're new to the channel if this is the first video you guys are watching of mine click that subscribe button guys we're on our way to 80,000 subscribers say yes number i know that's absolutely crazy so thank you guys so much for all the support make sure to click that subscribe button and if you're interested in free cod points for infinite warfare or black ops 3 whichever your preference is uh first link down in the description make sure to check it out and uh, yeah if you're buying any control freaks you know christmas time's coming up you might want some you know control freaks for christmas have them under your tree you know when you wake up christmas morning make sure to use the discount code raid for a little bit of discount uh save some money of course all that good stuff and yeah with that being said let's jump right into the video all right so the first problem with infinite warfare of course so many people have actually been like you know stating this they, they want this really really bad and this of course should have been day one shit guys this one should have been day one and that is leaderboards what what it's two weeks in the game it still says coming soon what it's leaderboards leaderboards have been in pretty much every single call of duty yet infinite warfare is taking their sweet ass time with the with the leaderboards i have no clue people want to see their combat record of course you can kind of hover over your player and see like your win loss and your kd but people want to see a lot more of like the statistics in the game like they want to see top of the leaderboards they want to see who has the most kills they want to see like most wins like they want to see the highest level like the, like the score per minute all that good stuff like they want to see the leaderboards yet infinity war is taking their sweet ass time with it it still says coming soon this should have been a day one thing and we're, I, we're getting closer to two weeks into the game is it two weeks or three weeks i don't even know i don't even know the game's been out for like two weeks or so and they still don't have the leaderboards in the game so many people have been you know saying where the hell is leaderboards infinity ward and infinity ward did a live stream talking about stuff they will be adding really really soon and of course they will be adding leaderboards soon but it's like it's like almost a month into the game already and it's like where the hell is it like where is the leaderboards this thing should have been a day one like that's not even funny guys like leaderboards are not in the game just just think about that the leaderboards are completely out of the game right now and it's been in every single call of duty and that's absolutely crazy that kind of is mind-blowing to me but that's my first point of this video the second one here guys is emblems and paint shop what what is going on here the, the, the emblem creator is not in the game. That should have been day one. Are you actually kidding me, Infinity Ward? Are you kidding me? It says coming soon, but emblem creator has been... It, it was in Black Ops 1, a game that was released in 2011, guys. And they had the capabilities of releasing the game with the emblem creator so why can't infinity ward do that like what is going on here like were they rushed for time and they just didn't have the time to complete em the emblem creator like I, I just don't feel like that's that's like i don't know like a good reason like i feel like that should have been the day in the game since day one and they're not giving this to us like i, I don't understand people love the aspect of creating emblems rocking a custom emblem because they are giving us like pre-made emblems in the game which is cool and all but people love to create their own emblems even i like to create my own emblem sometimes man so emblem creator where the hell is that as well as paint shop man paint shop was in, uh, was uh, available in black ops 3 that's when it was really you know, introduced and 
we don't have paint shop at all so it's like how are we going from black ops 3 to infinite warfare and we're like downgrading like we don't have memo grader we don't have paint shop we don't have leaderboards it's like what how are we going from a game from last year and moving into like the next year the, supposedly the next call of duty and we're, we're, we're getting like a lack of content you know so i, I really don't get that aspect of the game we, we don't have leaderboards emblems paint shop like and another thing we don't have and this is like my my third point here is theater mode how how do we not have theater mode? I thought theater mode was like, like it was supposed to be in every Call of Duty. Of course, some Call of Duties didn't have theater mode, and that's completely fine, but like it, it's 2016 now, moving into 2017, and why can't we have theater mode? Like theater mode, once again, was in Black Ops 1, a game that was in 2011, man, and you're telling me that this game is not gonna have theater mode? I feel like that's kind of bullcrap. Like, I feel like that's bullcrap. People like theater mode. If you don't have a capture car, like an Elgato or like an HDP VR, then there's no way to look back at your gameplay because we have no theater, we have like no community kind of showcase. Like it, it's absolutely crazy that we can't save our like highlighted gameplays, we can't save clips, we can't go into like theater mode and roam around and see like different kind of cool angles and all that good stuff. Because theater mode is very very important for a Call of Duty game, yet. Infinity Board has no intention of adding this. Like, like of course, with emblems and leaderboards, it says coming soon. That's fine. But the theater mode, they have no obligation to release theater mode into the game at all this year. And that's what I feel like Infinite Warfare is lacking. Like, it, it, theater mode, might, some people may be like, okay, that's like a, like a minor thing right away. Like, that's not too important, you know, that whatever. But I thought that was pretty important. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like theater mode is pretty important. People like to save their clips, and a lot of people get some cool clips. People get, like, cool, like, you know, grenade kills or just kind of cool gun clips and, you know, quad feeds. And maybe they don't have an Elgato. Maybe they don't have an HTP VR or a capture card and they want to save their clip. But there's no way because we don't have theater. Like, what? Infinity Ward? So I thought that was pretty mind-blowing how we don't have theater mode in the game. Absolutely crazy. Moving on to the next point here is the camo challenges. What the hell, man? 160 headshots. 160 headshots that's absolutely crazy even for the snipers we have to get 160 headshots i remember in black ops 3 it was one shot kills that's completely fine but 160 headshots for the snipers i feel the camo challenges are pretty like they're, they're, they're pretty difficult like they're not like extremely difficult but it's like a lot more time consuming in this game and black ops 3 i got the camo challenges like done really quickly but i'm grinding my ass off of this man and i feel like i'm grinding for a camo that's not even cool like let's take a look at black sky right here like can we please just take a look at black sky <laughs> 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 I mean, seriously, we're grinding so hard for a camo that I feel like it is not good. Like, solar camo is much, much better than black sky, and black sky is supposedly the highest camo in the game, and you're grinding your ass off, you're doing all these camo challenges for a camo that's not even cool, man. Like, some of the camos I get in supply drops are right, so much more cooler than black sky man like black sky is so dull it barely moves it just looks so so crappy and they still have time to update it i know in black ops 3 when dark matter was first released it looked really bad and then Treyarch they updated it and made it look really cool something worth grinding for but for right now i feel like it's not even worth grinding the camos in infinite warfare because the, the black sky camo looks complete trash and i know a lot of people have been saying that that's not just me saying that but that's a lot of people saying that moving on here COD points are already in the game. What? Like, I remember in, I believe, Black Ops 3, they released it sometime in December, and they already released COD points. They released COD points before leaderboards, emblems, like, paint shot, like, all that other stuff, and they released COD points already. That's absolutely mind-blowing. I was so surprised when they released COD points before leaderboards. It's like, what are you doing, man? And they released COD points before they released some game modes, too. I remember they just added hardcore free-for-all like they're just adding game modes into the game now that should be day one stuff like why didn't the game have hardcore free-for-all it's in the game now but it's like why didn't the game have that game mode day one and they're just like they're just like removing and adding infected they're removing and adding you know, uh, capture the flag to fix things but it's like why weren't these things done day one and that's what i kind of feel like infinity ward is like lost like they're giving us like a game that's not complete you're giving us a game that like a, a hardcore free roll that's been in call of duty for years now and like you're just adding it now it's kind of strange to me and i'm not i don't know why but it, it's kind of strange to me and the last point i have for now is keys and salvage this stuff takes so so long to get like it takes so long to get 
keys and salvage now like of course salvage and crafting prototypes is a huge part of the game getting variants and different prototypes for each weapon is a fantastic part i think but it's also really really stressful because the salvage rate on how you actually earn it is so slow and if it's if it's that big part of a game like why wouldn't we be earning it faster? Now, I know when they had that live stream talking about some updates they were going to have, they did mention that keys and salvage, they were going to increase the rate you earn it, which I think is really good. And, and that's something they definitely need. But for now, like we've been playing the game for like two weeks now, and the rate to earn keys and salvage is so slow. So it's like, I don't know what they're doing, man, but I wanted to make this video just kind of pointing out some key things that they needed to fix and should have been added the first day like this game was released. So you guys may, you know, uh, kind of agree with me on some points, but I wanted to make this video not really just like trashing the game because Infinite Warfare, I think it's a pretty decent game. Me personally, I think that Black Ops 3 for right now is a little bit better than Infinite Warfare, but Infinite Warfare by all means is not a terrible game and I find myself still playing it and still enjoying it, but there's some things that should have been added day one and not being added like coming soon, you know? So I wanted to make this video just talking about some key points that Infinite Warfare really, really needs to add and they need to get, you know, shit done, you know? They need to get shit fixed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, a like rating would be very much appreciated. It just takes two seconds out of your day. So make sure to click that like button. Also, if you guys are brand new, click that subscribe button. We're on the road to 80,000 subscribers. So uh, thank you guys so much. Y'all are so kind. And that's pretty much it thank you so so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys on another one